So judging from what I've read in comment sections and in the comments of my live streams, a lot of people don't have a bunch of friends online playing with and have full parties in order to get out there and farm because if you didn't know if you're in a full party or if you just have more people in the game with you that you're playing with, each monster has a better chance of dropping an item, which if a monster drops an item, then it has a better chance of ending up being a good item that you actually want. Now, if you're out there playing by yourself, if that's what you literally have to do, I'm going to go ahead and give you three mega tips here that are really going to increase the number of drops and how many good items you find if you're out there farming solo online. So I'm going to do something right here, watch real quick, and depending on what you're doing, this could be a problem. Now, I just clicked a play button, selected hell, and I'm going into a game by myself. Depending on, there are different situations, but depending on what you're farming and what you're doing, jumping into a game all by yourself will have the monsters just players one difficulty, just one player in the game. Now, monsters no drop chance will actually be very high, meaning if you kill a monster, it'll just drop absolutely nothing. If a monster doesn't drop anything, that means that item has a 0% chance of being anything good. Now, here's an alternative to doing that. So instead, go over to Lobby. You know how to join games in Diablo 2, but look for a game that has a few people in it. Uh, right here, we got one that has two. So if I jumped in and joined that, then there would be three. You'd be rocking it on players three difficulty. So you can go ahead and join up and farm in there. And then you'll get the increased drop rates of a player's three game, even though you yourself can't actually find a party to play with. Now, here we are out Fridges Highlands. Let's say this is where I want a magic find. I can get out here and get the players three or even now there's players four in the game. So a four players drop type of game. Hopefully it will decrease the uh, drop, no drop chances that will then be increasing the amount of good items that you can find. Next up, you can just pick certain locations. Let's say you are going to jump into games by yourself. Maybe the monsters get too hard when there's too many people in the game. Farm locations that you can farm mega super quickly. Maybe running out to the Chaos Sanctuary and spending 25 minutes clearing one Chaos Sanctuary is not the best for you. Perhaps you're going to be better off like I did in the last one and like I'm doing right here, running somewhere like Eldritch and Shank. Super quick, super easy, even if your character is not that great. Boom, you can grab the one item that drops or something and head to the next game super quick. That way you're killing a champion over and over and over and over again. Hopefully then having a better chance of getting good items as well. So on top of Eldritch, just like running up here, you can go ahead and run down and go down and hit Shank right here. Sometimes Shank can be a little more dangerous because of things like these uh, Javazan uh, Slingers or whatever, or you can get Quill Rats down here. A little bit dangerous, but usually not too incredibly difficult to take out and pretty darn quick as well. Other place that could be very slept on is uh, come out here to good old Thresh Shocket. Sometimes Thresh Shocket can be faster on some characters than others, but uh, it can definitely be pretty darn quick sometimes. He's not incredibly difficult. There's just one of them. He doesn't generally have his own minions, so he can get taken out relatively quickly. Another well-known place is going to depend on your character. I'm going to throw a video up right here because my character is no good at it personally. It's not what I made it for, but running Travinkle, it can be tough, but you can get tons of good things. Like it's known specifically for high runes and different types of jewelry. And then another very well-known area right here. Good old Pindle out here. You can drop almost every item in the game. Not quite, but almost. And obviously it's so close, you can save and exit and run him over and over and over again, or you could link several or all of these together. Next up for the third tip is don't kill all of the monsters necessarily, but perhaps if you're just in a game by yourself, if that's the way you want to do, if you don't want to save and exit over and over and over again, running places like Pindle and stuff like that, if you're going to go to these 85 areas, just only snipe the actual elites and the champions. Unlike the other monsters, uh, elites and champions, they drop items every single time. So the no drop rates on higher play difficulty counts do not really affect them. So here I am with my assassin coming out, charging to the pits, and then I'm gonna go out here and essentially just elite snipe. So here's a champion pack. It's not as easy to snipe stuff with an assassin because the traps don't let you pick exactly what you're attacking. But if you do see packs that are uh, not optimal to be farming or they don't have a champion with them, just go ahead and skip them right there. There's those uh, archers that are immune to lighting. Just skip them. They're not the champion right there. That pack has no champions. Not wasting my time. Here's a large pack that does have champions in it. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll go ahead and move on. Here's a pack. No champions. We don't want to fight them. Keep moving on. No champions. Moving on. And here is a pack with champions, so we're taking them out. And there's a unique, boom, right there. 
That's because the no drop chances, like I said, are not affected on the champion's bosses. They drop that item every time, which gives you chances of getting unique. That unique's not the greatest, but it is at least showing you definitely got the unique. There's just some super quick tips for farming solo online if you have to do it and if you can't meet up with other people. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. It's going to be tough. We're kind of on pace, but it's going to be up to you. 70% of the people actually aren't subscribed who watch my videos, so make sure you double check. And check this video out right here. I know you're going to like it.